this is the uh, child's grave that was um, unearthed. A real weird, weird thing that was found in the floor. And that had some babies in it with some knives next to the babies apart. But up to now, um, I had nothing, nothing at all. So I'm gonna go back upstairs now into the uh, into the witch's room and just see if we get any any activity up there. You know, there's this big building here downstairs and um, a big expanse of land. I don't really know what it's for. Is there anybody with me now in this room, in this building? Come forward. Make yourself be known. Give us a sign, any sign at all that you were here. Any children, man, woman? Move, move something. Let's see your footsteps. It's weird, I keep coming in this like area here, I keep I feel like I smell smoke, not like bonfire smoke or um or that kind of smoke. It's and it looked hazy if there was smoke in here. Well it's just my eyes or the, or the lighting, some little red lights up there. Whether this was the the pub bit, I'm not really sure. It just looked a bit weird in that room. Anyway, I'm gonna go upstairs now and um See if we can get anything up there. I keep losing my way. Where I am. That's the other room. Here's the stairs here. Back on the stairs now. So we're gonna go back into the uh, into the witch's room. So this is the witch's room. Where I am now. Can you show yourself in the mirror? Show yourself around the mirror in light form at all, if you can. This is the um oh, that's the crib room. That's the toilet. Where's the bishop's room gone? So this is the um bishop's room. This is supposed to be the most haunted part of the ramen. Um, it's supposed to be haunted also by an incubus which partly gets into bed with people. Is it any Is there anybody with me now? Is there anybody in this bishop's room? The most haunted room in the inn apparently. Is the incubus here that gets into bed and attacks people? Are you here? Can you show yourself around the bed? <laughs> that just looks like somebody's in bed. It just looks a bit of lighting, but through the screen, it looks like there's somebody in bed. But there is not, I don't think. This is this is supposed to be the most haunted room uh, in the ancient realm. In this is the bishop's room where it's haunted by the incubus. It gets into bed. It is a strange place. Don't get me wrong, but I can't believe that nothing's happened. Um, I can't even say maybe. 
uh, did something happen because up to now nothing and it's like um, it's like it's too quiet it's like the house is too quiet there's not even many environmental noises such as you know creaking the floorboards and, and stuff like that house house just moving naturally in the environment with all the wooden floors I've not even had any of that it's like everything it's just too quiet now whether that's building up to something that's going to happen who knows but we've got to one o'clock now and nothing's happened I'll wait until three because I think that'll be the time something does happen Is there anybody downstairs that wishes to make a noise? And please do so. Okay, I've just been in the uh, bishop's room. Um, spent a little time in there, but nothing's happened either. In there either. Are you here? Battery seems to be just dying on me everywhere I go, to be honest. Even though nothing's happened, I don't think it's a place that I want to sleep somehow. Um, they used to say John, who 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 lived here, unfortunately he died now, he's passed away. He used to live in the, in the bit as you walk in where the kitchen was, and he used to sleep on the city apparently. That's what I heard. Um, how true that is, I don't know. Um, he wouldn't go further on in the house to, to actually use it as uh, living quarters. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. I'm sat on is very very damp. I won't sleep in there. It feels quite wet. Um, but again, up to now, nothing's happened. Nothing at all. Oh, this, what part? What part of the room this was? It's a big expanse of room, and we can see it on camera. There you are going off. Is there anybody in this room with me now? Make yourself be known, move something in here. Don't know what that was. Was that you? Can you do it again? Keep getting lost. I don't know why. Because it isn't. It isn't that big. Look, I keep getting there. Uh, lost. I keep forgetting which room I'm in to get back to. Um, where the hub is. He keeps making me jump every time I turn the corner. Is there anybody here? Come forward.
moving object in this room. I don't really understand how people get um, spooked in this place, it, even if it's only psychological, because there's that many little crannies, that little, so many little black corners that something could just pop pop the head around or something. It's it's very I don't know. It, I can understand people getting scared here, even if nothing happened. I can really can because it's it's just that sort of building, that sort of layout. Um, you know, there's a lot of taxi derby stuff and, and, and like skeletons on the piano behind me, but just the the rooms and that, I can understand why people do get scared here and I can imagine if there's a, bit, if there's a lot of people here then I, I, I think there'd be a lot of like, if somebody got scared I think there'd be like mass hysteria, I can understand why. I don't know why, but I feel a little bit more spooked than I did before. Got spooked spooked. Traffic stopped outside now, it's got eerily quiet. The building's gone quiet, as I said, the building seems to be too quiet. But it's gone quiet outside as well now. Uh, these are John's jackets that are hung up. John was the owner of this uh, house he passed away unfortunately a couple of years ago and every time he was on telly John wore a leather jacket and they're all hanging up here today still and you can smell the leather of the jackets when you walk in lovely smell of leather it's like walking into Lakeland there's the the spirit Mummified cat, he found. Is that behind the fireplace or behind the wall? It's, it's a horrible thing. It's a big cat, too. Is there anybody here? Anybody at all? Come forward, come on. Come do something in this room. If this place isn't haunted, then if ghosts are real, then I don't think anything else will be haunted because you know it's been a pub, it's been a family home, it's been uh, it's been everything. It, everything's gone on in this building. So if this place isn't haunted, I don't know what is. But tonight, it isn't living up to its reputation. Not for me, anyway. It's gone eerie. It's gone very quiet outside. But I've had nothing. I've had I've, I've had absolutely nothing at the moment. But I think this bit I'm in now would have been the old pub. It looks like an old inn or something like that. Is the lady here who was murdered? Are you here? Can we hear your movement upstairs, please, if you're up there? Hear your footsteps? There's so much stuff to move in this building. It's, it's a weird, weird place.
just like standing deathly quiet waiting for something to happen be it movement or footsteps or a voice look down the back corridor there to where like if you look behind me you go upstairs it's, it's like go through there it's pitch black that's to get to the stairway upstairs and it's so so dark Can you play a note on the piano? So I'm walking out the door, playing out on that piano, just press the key, any key at all. This is the only room with a little bit of heating to be honest. So it's quite nice just to come back in here just to get a little bit of a warm. I think what I'll do I'm have a little short break again and and then maybe head off upstairs again. Let's see if anything happens up there. You always say three o'clock's a witch you never so. I think it's about half past one now. Come on to the spirits of the ancient ramen. Come forward and do something in this room or above me. Move an object. Come and touch me. You don't want me in this building then give me a sign every time I look I forget about him <laughs> and for a minute he just startles me just for a split second I know he's there but you forget about him and all of a sudden you pan around with the camera and see that face looking at him looking at me If there's a spirit person with me in this room, then please give me your name. My name is Phil. I come in peace, with respect, and I wish you no harm. Can you say your name or give me a message through this device in my hand after three? One, two, Three. If there's a spirit person with me in this room, then please give me your name. My name is Phil. I come in peace, with respect. And I wish you no harm. Can you say your name or give me a message through this device in my hand after three? One, two, three. Nothing. Nothing at all on that one. What am I doing now at two o'clock in the morning? Sat in a, a building like this on my own in the dark. I must I must be mad. As for spookiness, I think it's one of the spookiest places I've been to, to be honest. 
I anyone who's into ghost hunting, you know, nothing's happened to me tonight. I'd definitely come to this building and, and come and see it for yourselves. It, it's it's an absolute treasure to be honest. It's fantastic. You know, I'm sat here now. I'm looking out towards. I think where that would have been the old bar area, and it's like you just think anything could just walk past you any minute. It's it's weird. There's a little red light on the wall um, where the bar area is, and you just feel like something's just going to walk past at any, any any moment in any moment in time. And it's big. It's quite big. It's it's not a small building. And with that, there's a couple of places we can't get into either. I think it's because it's a little bit unsafe, maybe. So it, it would be bigger than than this if you could get into every area. Maybe not. don't do it alone. Probably wasn't a good idea, even though nothing's happened to me. But uh, are here? That's an old pub thing, but if it was, it looks like a pint of Carlberg was 97p. <laughs> Glass of wine, 75p. <laughs> I must be going back a bit. Is there anybody on the landing area? Is there anybody in this part of the building? Can you tap on something? Make a noise? Is there any children here? Downstairs. Okay, I'm going to ask the children then. I shall see a big thud downstairs. Is that you? I don't know if you heard that on camera, but when I asked for children upstairs, there was a big thud. Now the CCTV camera is in um, where John used to live, so whether that picked it up, if it was in that room maybe. Is that you just made that noise? Is that the children? That's the only noise I've heard all night. And that was quite loud. children things here because there's like children's teddies everywhere can you ring this bell okay, that's the children's grave that was dug up.
Is there any children in this part of the building? Was it you who made that noise? That thud? Can you do it again? Okay, I've just come into the um, main living quarters. I was just talking on the, um, on the live cam there for a minute. Uh, what was weird, it sounded like there was a cat that meowed in that room. Now, I don't think that was a suggestion because I know there is a cat that's supposed to, to haunt this building and it has been caught on EVP. But it sounded like a cat meowing. Now, it was either that or the door moving, it's like squeaking. It's like it. That was strange because that's, that's two things I've heard now in the last 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go in there and see if what I might do is do a little bit of EVP and see if we can get anything on there. But it's, it's taking a little bit of a turn here now, to be honest. But we'll go and have a look. Can you make, is there any children? The children was here before we made that noise. Can you do so again for me? I would love you to ring this bell. Ring it for me. Just press on that bell. It doesn't take a lot of energy. <sighs> weird, that noise was weird. See that noise again that you did before? Mm. You really can uh, picture this being, being an old inn actually when you look at the, the layout of the building and that. Um, you can just imagine people drinking in here. And you can more or less picture the rooms of how it would have been, to be honest. But Walton Under Edge itself, it's, I went to, went to Tesco Express for a butty on the Tesco Express, and what a lovely town. It, it was um, like a high street with some really lovely shops and buildings. Um, you know, I'd never heard of the place up until now, but it's a lovely, lovely little. Uh, Historic market town, if you're ever up here, uh, take a look, it's nice. And also, the ancient ram in, uh, I think it's open a couple of days a week. Uh, you can just come and have a look around in the day as well. So, uh, if you're ever up this way, then, uh, then give it a whirl. You walk into this, like I presume where the old inn would have been, there's like, it's weird because it's like, don't you go into a pub? And they have like a coal fire, and you can see like just like a, a smoky, smoky atmosphere, and that's what it looks like. It looks like the smoky atmosphere is still here. So some, it looks like it's in the air, like a kind of smoke. It's weird. I think it's maybe the little red lights they've got on the wall. They're only very dim. They probably look a lot brighter on here than uh, on the night vision cameras, but they're only dim. But maybe that. That gives it that um, 
that look, I don't know. You play the piano. Go on, press one of them keys for me. That'd be good. Or this bell. Come on. Do it. morning now. Um, I'm up here in the witch's room and again it seems to have gone very quiet again. There's, there's still that anticipation obviously that something could just happen at any time. It's like being in the world war and waiting for the sirens to go off. Come on, do something in this room. Anything at all. Yeah, thanks for everybody who came on the live feed as well. I know, uh, I think Debbie's, Debbie was watching until about 4.30 in the morning, so uh, thanks for that and thanks for everybody else. Thanks for Caroline. Sorry I couldn't always reply to you, but me thing was downstairs, me... me, me my laptop so I couldn't I didn't know what was going on a lot of the time to actually reply and thank you very much as well for the pictures uh, much appreciated for that well yeah so it's I think I'm back here in February uh, next year and then um, I've got Antwerp Mansions which I'm really looking forward to as well that's that's another one off my list that I needed to do it's a fantastic building as well it's derelict now and quite large so I'm looking forward to doing that I think I'm doing that on two occasions next year also so there you go it's a lot bigger this place than what I thought it would have been to be honest and I'd, I found that tower that went up to the attic which I didn't know was there so um, I didn't find that till about 4am so I went up there at 4 o'clock That's the wind just just starting to get up now here the wind outside it's been very the weather's been good tonight because there's been no envir environmental noises that way with the wind howling and, and drafts coming through the window it is a little bit drafty but i think it's naturally drafty anyway but I imagine if, if there's a, quite a bit of wind outside it, it would make this building um a lot a lot cooler it's very drafty obviously because it's very old Well, it's five o'clock now in the morning. Just so I'll give it a quick more, one more go in the bishop's room before I leave. So it's been a quiet night, unfortunately for me. Apart from them two really weird noises that I heard. Um, is it a place I've come back to? Definitely. Um, yeah, I'll definitely come back. It's... Uh, you know, just because not much has happened this time doesn't mean to say it's not haunted, unfortunately for me. But tonight it was, um, yeah, a little bit quiet. It's definitely a bit of an eerie place, to be honest. It's, um, it is weird. But very, very atmospheric. <laughs> 